Hello everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe, and today, by request, a new short directory opus video teaching you how to filter out multiple file types inside of a directory listing. This has been asked me on several occasions. I finally got around, took a break from the Steam Deck videos for a couple of minutes to actually create a new directory opus video just for you. All right, so here we are in my memes folder. I've been collecting memes over the last year or two. Some of my favorite stuff, I've got GIFs, I've got PNGs, I've got AVIs, I've got MP4s. It all depends on what I'm trying to convey, right? That's the whole point of the meme. But the request is, how can I filter out a directory listing by a couple of different types? I would like to see all my AVIs and my PNGs. I would like to see all of my Xs or Ys, or I wanna see these three. So in this case, I've got four or five different file types here. So as always with directory opus, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Now you probably tried this search box up here and you've probably typed star.gif and yeah, it does. It filters out by gifs. Perfect. That's that's a good start, but I also want to do, you know, comma uh, png. Well, obviously comma doesn't work, so you've probably gone in here and tried semicolons, you've tried the or pipe, um, uh, you've tried it all and and honestly it's just um it's not working for you. And that's because it won't work from here. Well, now at least you know, right? At least you know that you're barking up the wrong tree. So let's teach you how to do it the right way, or at least a couple of different ways you can get the same thing done. I'm gonna flip back over to details views. It's just easier to kind of see everything at a glance. You can see I've got PNGs, I've got GIFs, I've got the whole kit and caboodle in here. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do it. Number one, hit the star button or hit star on your keyboard. All of a sudden this little box pops up down here and you'll automatically see that you can filter on certain popular formats as well as use a UI to say, I want to see my MP4s and my AVIs. And there they are, filtered in real time. I want to see my weird ones. I want to see my PNGs and my AVIs. Perfect. Now you'll also notice that as you're doing it, it's teaching you how to build this query. So it's star dot, and then in parens, the file extensions. But you don't have to do it that way. You can also freehand it. There you go. Now I've got my dot AVIs and PNGs. You could add another or clause in here and add my JPEGs, of which I have one, right? So you really don't have to use the dot because it's doing sort of a filter on text. Now you might pick up something that has a PNG or AVI somewhere in the name this way, but otherwise you could use it the same way as you see here, which is to use star dot AVI or GIF. So you could do it that way as well. So this is one way of doing it. Of course, once you lose the box, for whatever reason, you still have to hit star to get it back. The other thing you could do is what we would call a quick filter box. Go to customize, go to command. We're gonna type in filter. We're gonna take the file filter field. I'm gonna put it right next to my search. I'm gonna hit okay. Now I've got a whole nother filter box. Now from in here, I could type in .gif, type in .pngs, .avis, and of course you can do the same bit here, avi or png. So I get my avis and I get my pngs. Um, so there's a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, obviously, you know, whatever works best for you. I sometimes like to just have a, a control sitting on the page somewhere I can go to. I'll forget about star, right? I won't remember to how to bring that back up. I'm not gonna remember that star, but I'll always remember that there's a file filter up here. So that's it. I know it's short, brief, sweet, but hopefully that'll help you filter out your huge listings to find out exactly what it is that you're looking for. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Until next time, take care.